Hi there, I'm Jacqueline, and welcome to Table Scraps. Today we're going to be taking a look at Riss character creation, and I'm going to teach you how to make yourself a crazy. Like all character creation, we start at the very beginning, rolling dice. Riss uses a random generation for his eight attributes. You roll 3d6 eight times. Don't fret, though. I'm here to show you why low stats don't matter as much for a crazy. For example, let's say you roll a few 10s or 11s. That's way too low for a game like this, you might think to yourself, but here's the fun part. Crazies get two stats, physical strength and physical prowess, that have minimums. For strength it's 19, for prowess it's 17. If you put your lowest stats there, they automatically get a boost to meet those numbers. So if you drop that 10 and 11 into them, boom, weakness solved. You can also put a lower number into speed, as crazies get an extra 4d6 added on. Plus, there are skills that will give you a massive boost to the stat, but we'll get into those in a minute. Your hit points are determined by your base PE stat, plus 1d6 but we're gonna wait to do this till the very end, and here in a second I'll explain why. Got your stats? Good! Now we get to start with the OCC bonuses. There are 10 things to take note of for crazies, and many of those things give static stat bonuses, like super endurance, for example. There's a lot to detail here, so for the sake of brevity, I won't get too in depth. Be sure to record everything. I cannot stress this enough. There's so much information in these bonuses and powers, and you will need every bit of it. Detailed in this section is also why they're called crazies. The MOM conversion drives you a little madder over time. At first level, you're fine, but as you grow in power, you become more imbalanced. Be sure to check this chart when you level, as it details exactly where you need to roll for a new insanity. As a crazy, you will have access to three psychic abilities chosen from the sensitive or physical psychic list. There are limits to which you can pick, however. You start with a base of 66 PPE, or potential psychic energy. Crazies get a fuckload of skills. And I mean a metric fuckload. Again, for the sake of time, I won't cover everything, but I will give suggestions for your bonus skill, physical skills. Physical skills are the greatest thing in the world, and lucky for you, the crazy can take any of them. You have seven skills to fill, and I heartily endorse beefing yourself up from the physical list. Some good choices are bodybuilding and weightlifting, which adds two to your physical strength score and 10 to your SDC. Wrestling, which gives you a bunch of physical maneuvers as well as two to your physical strength, one to your physical endurance, and 46 to your SDC. See why I said hold off on final tallies? Crazy also gives you a hand-to-hand -hand style, in this case martial arts, which you'll want to keep an eye on as you level. This hand-to-hand -hand style will give you other bonuses to your attack, your dodges, your rolls, etc. the higher level you are. Once you have your skills, count up your stat totals and check the chart on page 281 of the Ultimate Edition to see what bonuses you have. Every stat over 16 provides some sort of inherent bonus. And since you're a crazy, with physical skills you are going to have quite a few that border on massive. If your stats go off the chart, most have a fairly easy pattern to follow. If they don't, however, be sure to talk to your GM before recording anything. I can't tell you how to gear your character, but I can make suggestions. You're going to want to pick up an NGP-7 particle rifle. Why? Because it deals 1d4 times 10 mega damage. Now you just need to round out your character. Pick your alignment and flesh out its background, and boom! You're ready to tear apart the coalition with your bare hands.